All right, guys, another beautiful day, beautiful machine. Unfortunately, we kind of got a little bit of a tricky job ahead of us today. Let me show you. Some of you guys may recognize this place. Let me kind of uh, paint the picture of where we're at. We're working close to home. I live about a mile and a half that way. And right there on top of that hill is the job we did where we cleared all the trees out to improve the view of the river. And the fields was flooded in the drone shot. We were flying over the flooded fields. This is that flooded field. This field has been pasture for years. They ran cows in here. And now they're going to convert it over to crops. So what we are going to do today is down through the middle, there's a little bit of a drainage ditch. And we got these lovely old dead trees that need to be removed. The reason this one's going to be a little bit tricky and a little bit dangerous is, uh, <laughs> long story short, we don't want to wear any of those. We don't want any of these those fall on the machine, damage us, damage the machine. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful a little bit methodical about how we go about removing these but i'm thinking starting off we're going to get the healthy one here pluck a few limbs off him get him shoved over that one which i believe is an ash tree uh there's about five or six logs coming off the same stump uh let's deal with him when we get there let's let's let's, let's start off let's get a win with this tree and then we'll go the other direction so out of this thing so they don't end up getting the hydraulic hose. Save us some trouble here later. I have no idea what type of tree that is. The guy that actually owns this property actually owns a pretty good sawmill operation. These particular trees here, what the kind of the plan is, we're trying to get them laid out over here. If I can get them laid down today, uh, I think he's going to come. He's going to come through here a little bit later and uh, cut well logs. He thinks at least worth hauling out of here. Just like everything right now, the price of logs went up. So some of these logs that were not much more than firewood, all of a sudden they're
I get the get the scrub cleaned up here a little bit, roll this one up out of the way. The next one, the next one's the one I'm a little bit worried about. That is a big old gnarly tree. I believe it is all one, one big stump. I think what we're gonna try to do is before I start pushing anything over, I'm gonna go ahead around it and uh, go ahead and try to get the stump loop loosened up as much as I can. I don't know if they're gonna come out individually, if they're gonna break off there and we'll get them piece by piece, or if it's all gonna come out as one and we'll have to take chainsaw and cut it up. But let's uh let's work our way around there and see what happens i guess Right, guys i've been studying this tree here for a second kind of getting a plan as you guys seen we got dug all the way around it the stump seems to be somewhat loose this ground's pretty saturated which helps quite a bit problem is this thing's extremely dead and if you just barely bump a limb it's coming off the tree and coming down so hopefully i got enough reach with the machine and i'm not going to be directly underneath it and if the machine takes a hit it's on the boom and not the cab but that's no guarantee either so we need to hedge our bet the best we can and make sure wherever we go pushing or prodding on this thing uh, we know what we're doing so i think the first thing i'm going to do there's only one limb that's leaning this way towards me and it's that small one right there so i think i'm going to offset myself from the big one on this side of it so for some crazy reason it falls or a limb comes out of it it's going to fall beside me try to get this one here down if i can get this one here down that one and the one behind it are leaning that way so we'll take them out that way and if the whole tree goes that way that's fine too I'd prefer it to fall towards me, but I don't feel comfortable being on that other side having stuff hanging over the cab while I'm pushing on. I'm afraid with a with a bump or a jar or something. I don't know if you guys can see how far they're leaning, how far they're leaning that way. So uh, I may make a little more mess to clean up out there, but I'd rather clean up the mess out there than repair the machine or me. So let's see if we can get you guys can see this one here is a pretty good angle how it's leaning this way if i can get this one here uh eliminated as a hazard i think we can go that way pretty easy with the other ones uh that center one's leaning back that way a little bit but again i can offset myself and try to try to position myself if it does come at me it'll just graze me see what happens
Well, that actually went pretty well. That one broke off. I'm fine with that. At least it's not hanging over my head anymore. Next one we're gonna try to do is that one over there. I just really gotta keep an eye on that center one right there and make sure uh, make sure it don't do anything funky and come towards me. So just keep plucking away at it. We'll just keep plucking away. Check that out guys. I don't know if I could have went any better to be honest with you. As you guys seen from the video back there, I kind of changed my plan up a little bit after I started shoving on the tree and seeing what it was doing. My ultimate goal was to get it either to fall down the ditch or fall that way because these dead trees fall, they make such a mess. But I wasn't going to risk with the machine or myself if it needed to go this way. I was going to let it go this way, but once I got that center tree out of there, I was pretty confident we could control it and we had no uh no risk involved those two fell that way broke away got this section this way winner winner chicken dinner so i'm gonna get this mess cleaned up here a little bit looks like we got another easy one and then we got another mess so keep plucking our way down through here here's the next one on the list guys it's uh a challenge a little different challenge than the rest of them. the problem with this one is it is extremely rotten i don't even know if i even dig around the stump i think it may just break off before it goes down i don't know for sure i think we're going to gently gently dig around it trying to shake any limbs out of it and give her a little nudge and uh give her a little nudge and see if she wants to go i don't know for sure that tree's so dead and i'm horrible horrible at telling trees i think I think that used to be an old sycamore tree. I don't know why every tree, every tree that was on this ditch line, even the ones down there we gotta take down, for some reason are dead. I don't know. Comment down below if you know why they died in this ditch line. They didn't die anywhere else. They uh they seem to die all at one time, and they're not all ash trees. I don't think it was the ash borer. I don't know. Interesting. amazes me how a tree can be deader than a door now or a tree can be cut off a stump for years you go to dig out the tree or dig out the stump and the roots are just as tough as if it was a healthy tree that thing has got one mean root on it right there there it comes come on out of there i think she is going to come out of there i can see her now. I can see her wiggling a little bit whenever I pry on the uh, pry on the roots here. So get a couple. Of, man, oh man, that.
fit his stall my way around here and we'll see if this thing will go down. All right, we are dug all the way around. I'm gonna do my best to get it to go that way. I don't know if it's gonna want to or not. Let's find out. That's not exactly where I wanted it. I would have preferred to have it more that way. For some reason, I want to turn on me on there. Turn, twist on me there at the end, but look at the size of that stump. I'll bet you that's every bit of nine or 10 feet tall right there. Let me wrestle this thing around, see if I can get her out of the hole. these two here are pretty dead but i think they'll go down pretty easy not too concerned about those and then we got that mess over there that's a whole <laughs> that's a whole nother story so i think what i'm gonna do 
We'll set you guys up on time lapse. Let's go ahead and get these two here knocked out and then we'll get a plan and get that one done. The good news is it's down safely and I didn't damage myself. The bad news is I just about took you guys out of the tree. Hope you had your hard hat on. I'm gonna get these set over here, get the best from these two trees cleaned up, and we'll jump in and tackle that last one. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Sizing this tree up here, I think it actually looks worse than what it really is. Hope I'm not misjudging it. I think what we're gonna do is uh, dig around her, pop the roots, so we'll get her loosened up pretty good. After we do that, I'll probably just try to break that one off. If I can get that broke off, I think this part of the tree here, we can just uh, we can just tumble her over pretty easy there, bud. So uh, I'm gonna save you guys the trouble of uh, all the digging we'll do this one we'll do this one the easy way and then i'll show you the i'll show you the fun part there she is nothing fancy we got enough roots busted on her i think she'll go over i believe we'll walk the machine over here and see if we can, can pluck that one off there and then we'll we'll tackle the big boy all right let's see what happens hopefully she'll just uh hopefully she'll just pop and go down take anything else with it. I don't see any limbs up there to inter entertain them with, I don't think, so there we go. I think the whole tree's gonna go. Well, for sure, I think they break it off. Well, if the whole tree's gonna go down, I'm gonna push the tree on top of that, hopefully whenever it hits the ground, it breaks it. Because it sure would make it a lot easier to move once it's on the ground. Let's see what happens. Check that out guys, that went perfectly, perfectly as planned. As that tree went down, it busted this uh, this spur off, so now it was two separate pieces. Made it really easy to get it in and out of the hole. Let's get that one tossed over in the pile, get our mess cleaned up. We'll call this one a wrap. Having that busted off there like that makes it so much easier. I wish I could have done it with that uh, big one up there, that big stuff I wrestled around with for a while. This makes it so hard to roll and so hard to do anything with. You get it busted up like this. Yes, you always got the chainsaw option, but that's what you would say. 
guess I got a little taste of the Velcro, but. I'm on around right there, Drew. I'm going to take you this way. There we go. Perfect. So just on the other side of the other. videos off this job kind of waiting on some locates and a couple other things to see what we can do as you guys can tell the ground is extremely wet and uh, i think they're wanting to run a tile down through here maybe a dry dam or two so stay tuned for that One reason why I'm not getting too carried away with these stump holes, I just want to get them to whether or not I don't turn into a pond by morning because I've got a feeling we're going to be doing quite a bit of dirt work around here before it's all over with. Well, there they are, all down, all down safely, might I ask. The only close call we had was you guys in the camera, so I do apologize for that. I'm safe and sound, machine safe and sound. We're gonna call that one a win, guys. It's getting towards the end of the day. We're gonna wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. As always, we'll catch you on the next one.